Hey kids, JD here, and today we're starting a series on real biker food. All these recipes are coming from a book, which you'll now see. Cooking, Carving, and Scarfing, A Guide to Great Grub Biker Style. This is from Easy Riders. You can find this at Paisano Publications. This is not an affiliate link. I don't make a penny off of it. But if you want to get it and follow along with me as we go through these recipes, that's what you got to do. So I'm out here in the kill room today, and today we're going to start with the very most basic of food items that every biker should know about how to do, and that is coffee. Because all you need is water, some grounds, and a tin can, and something to heat it with, and you can have great coffee, at least according to them. But let's see how it actually works out. Before we get started, go ahead, hit subscribe, hit me up on social media. Let's get this done. When making coffee in tin can or pot, boil water and then add one tablespoon of ground coffee for each cup of water. Take off fire at once. Do not stir. Add small amount of cold water. This will send grounds to the bottom of pot. To avoid muddy looking coffee, throw in a couple of eggshells. Don't foul it up by adding sugar or tin tit milk. A good shot of brandy will open your eyes. Okay, let's see what happens. Okay, so now what we're going to do, we're going to take it, pour it in a cup. We've let it steep for 10 minutes, so let's see how it turned out. And we kept most of the grounds on the bottom. Good deal. I don't know if you can see it, but there is coffee in there. There certainly was some stuff on the top, but I don't have any eggshells. And come on, are you such a pussy that you just can't drink it? Let's not be that way. See what happens. It's a little watery, and that could be due to a couple of reasons. It could be that I just used too much water to start with. It could be the bag says that you need to use two tablespoons, but since this is steeping for longer, I wasn't sure whether that would be a factor, or it ju could just be that this is a light coffee and they were using a darker coffee. I mean, it's still good. It's still drinkable. I'm drinking it. But it's certainly not like the stuff we get in the coffee shop, which is probably actually pretty good. So we'll review this, come back to it in a few weeks. But that's the basics of real biker coffee. So if you're a real biker, you need to get on this and start doing this. But before you do, go ahead, hit like, leave a comment, subscribe if you haven't, social media. I'm JD, and I'm out.